Greetings, I am Mike Grontman. This video clip demonstrates orbit circularization by atmospheric drag. More video clips illustrating other effects of interest to space mission design and to spacecraft design can be found at the website astronauticsnow.com. The simulations are performed using AGI's STK. This video clip demonstrates orbit circularization by atmospheric drag. The simulation covers 8 days. The red vector facing you is the vernal equinox vector. The sun is on the left illuminating the earth. The yellow band on the surface is the equator. The initial orbit in our example is elliptical, with perigee altitude 140 km and apogee altitude 20,000 km. The color of the current orbit is red. The color of the initial orbit is white. The satellite experiences atmospheric drag while orbiting the Earth. The drag force is proportional to the atmospheric density and to square of the spacecraft velocity. The spacecraft ballistic coefficient, the ratio of the spacecraft mass to the product of the drag coefficient and effective cross-sectional area is 11 kg per square meter. Atmospheric density very quickly decreases with the increasing altitude. Consequently, atmospheric drag is very small at altitudes higher than 1000 km. In our example, atmospheric density and correspondingly drag are negligible at the orbit apogee. Atmospheric density and drag are maximum at the orbit perigee. We specially placed the spacecraft in the orbit with a low perigee to make the effect of atmospheric drag quickly visible in our simulations. Since drag is very small near apogee, the effect on orbit perigee is also very small. In contrast, the satellite loses significant velocity due to drag during the perigee passage. This causes the orbit apogee to lower. Therefore, the net effect of atmospheric drag on the elliptical orbit is its circularization. The lower the orbit perigee, the more pronounced this effect is. Atmospheric density at a given altitude significantly depends on the level of solar activity. In our example, we assume the conditions corresponding to moderate solar activity with the F10.7 flux equal to 150. As you can see, after 8 days in orbit, the apogee lowered by 5000 km from a 20000 km altitude to a 15000 km altitude. More video clips illustrating other effects of interest to space mission design and to spacecraft design can be found at the website astronauticsnow.com. Thank you for watching. I am Mike Grontman.